Worm check, vamos a checarlo a revisar, no a checar los gusanos probably feed them yeah. en su resto de actividad little mites you see the mites So those are mites. All of those things. So they accelerate the process of decomposition. So bichitos aceleran el proceso de descomposición para que después los gusanos se lo puedan digerir so the worms can digest it after that's probably uh, pepper seed seedling actually not seed pepper seedling more mites yeah Good, it's going good. See right here, that's an apple. This is actually the best and easier way to grow something. And it's a more natural way indoors of growing a seed. Para mí es la forma más natural eh, indoor de crecer una, una plántula. Because I'm just trying to replicate what happens in nature. I'm gonna put some gloves. So, you check this one. Right there, there's a seed, right? We're just gonna check. Um, activity in general if there's need of more food or not wow yeah they have quite a bit of food huh? some more seeds here those are uh, cherry seeds son semillas de cereza so I hope to get some cherry seedlings from that I like to alcance tener un una plántula de cherry. Yeah, so this is one of the things that they say you have to do, right? Like mix it. They say. Dicen que hay que mezclarlo esto. baby worm right here okay so I'm gonna check the next level and then we're gonna fit this Also has a lot of food or a lot of worms at least yeah lots of worms this is yeah but this is less uh... yeah this one is smelling more like stagnant water Does that mean that I've been watering too much? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, but there's definitely not. I mean, there are worms here, but not as much as in the on the other level. So maybe I'll move some of these. Okay, so I'm gonna take the gloves off. I'm gonna feed the first level. Vamos a darle comida al primer nivel. And then we're gonna move some of this area. Grapes. And frozen cucumbers. So like I was saying, I'm gonna move material from here to here. But first I'm gonna feed this. Just like that. We have all the grapes. And now we're just gonna move using my shovel. Actually, this, uh, the bottom level is what I had not been feeding a lot because like I just wanted to, to use that. I wanted to harvest that one. Yeah, it really stinks too much humidity. Anyway. So now I'm just gonna cover this with paper. If I have paper, hopefully I have some cardboard or something. Ojalá tenga algo de cartón para cubrirlo. Tengo un poco de papel, no tanto, pero. show you the bottom level, the real third level, the very very bottom level where you get that drainage. Yeah. See? The liquid, the excess of water, and you can see that there's a lot, so I have the excess of agua. So what we do here is we just do that. And I haven't uh, done it this week, but that's usually when you have a lot of water and that's it. And this water liquid, you can use it to water some of your plants. It's a pretty good fertilizer. It's a super good fertilizante para, para tus plantas because it's liquid fertilizer, right? I'm actually thinking of using it for hydroponics. Se puede usar para como fertilizante hidropónico. Yeah, that's just a theory, I don't know, huh? but in theory, that's what it is, right? I'm gonna be keeping it on this this container. Now we're going to wash this. Vamos a lavar esto. Okay, that was a good checkup. Una buena revisión. Back in place. And that's it. I'm going to clean this, of course. But that's it. Okay, eso fue el video, amigo. Chao, nos vemos. Gracias. See you later, bye.